Hello there! This is an astrological forecast for Libra for the month of April 2010. And this also applies if you have a Libra ascendant. So Librans, there's a lot happening this month, particularly around your relationships, your finances and your home family. These are the big areas. There's a lot happening astrologically because planets are going retrograde and you're going to need to do some more introspective work as well. So Saturn, as we know, has been in your sign um, and is going to go retrograde into Virgo. So it's going out of your sign from the 7th of the month into Virgo. It's doing a last quick checkup between April uh, the 7th until July time. And so what this means is you need to look at the habits and the routines that you've got in your life and also your health, your physical health. Make sure you get any health issues checked up, checked out, especially sat in anything connected with your teeth or your bones or your knees or anything like that. Get checked out. Make sure you've got exercise on your agenda. I know some of you Librans, you love it, but a lot of you really don't like exercising. But make sure you've got some kind of exercise um, plan that you really enjoy doing that's flexible enough for you, but actually brings you pleasure and you feel as though you're going to do it. And it's also a time to look at what you're eating and to make sure that you have a diet that's nourishing you and supporting you in your physical health so that your energy levels are able to be kept up high because you're going to need a lot of energy this month. There's a lot coming up. We've got Pluto going retrograde on the 5th of the month and it's retrograde in your fourth house, Libra. So this is very much an inner soul work looking at where you're giving your power away, where you're feeling a lack of control in your life and particularly connected with home and family issues and issues may be collected with home and family and your work and where you're feeling torn, where you're feeling as though you've got loyalties that are somewhat divided or you're being pulled upon. You're being pulled upon by maybe members of your family or people who are like family around you who are pulling on you and it's time to look at the patterns, any uh, ancestral patterns that you're carrying through. It's like the sins of the father being revisited on the son and really looking at any destructive patterns that you have in your life and seeing where you can actually change these patterns. Now you may need counselling or you may be giving somebody counselling connected with these issues but there's certainly going to be the pull between the home and the career and moving out there and stretching yourself further and going out there because many of you with Saturn in your first. Many of you have got a lot of new beginnings. A lot of new things are happening. It's like the seeds of new things and many of you are feeling a little bit cautious as though you need to be mm, a little bit careful. You're not too sure of yourselves yet. You're feeling your way but you are coming into a whole new period of your life and this is a longer trend. So let me get back to April itself. Well many of you are experiencing some bumps and some changes connected with your work and there will be some changes, but some of those changes will be good for your growth. You're going to open up into some new areas and you just need to be a little bit more flexible maybe and try to go with the flow. Don't push the river. It really flows by itself. We've got the sun in the seventh house, so up until about the 20th, your relationships are going to come under sharp focus. And it's a great time to start a new relationship for those of you looking at having a relationship, but also a good time if you are in a partnership to shine a light on that partnership, to do things together and to really try to share some common interests and some common goals. After about the 20th of the month, then we've got a lot of planets in your 8th house Libra and it's really important to look at your finances. Any joint finances and that could do with, could be connected with a mortgage, your insurance, your finances, your investments and inheritance. All this area comes under sharp focus and it's important for you to start to make plans to do any contracts and anything that needs signing. Mercury goes retrograde after about the 18th of the month, so really important any travel plans, any documents, any legal issues, any leases, any new projects, try and get those out of the way before the 18th of the month. And so any documents that need signing, any divorce documents, anything legal at all, try to get that done before the 18th of the month. After the 18th is a great time for research, a great time for clearing out your closets, getting rid of your clutter, organising yourself 
and also it can be a really good time for completing projects that you got started earlier on before Mercury went retrograde. And also try to make your travel plans before Mercury goes retrograde because often Mercury can just disrupt travel arrangements. Um, we've got Venus in your ninth after about the 25th of the month and this could be a time where you might meet a foreign person, somebody very nice from a foreign land and connect up with them, particularly on an intellectual level and have a lot that you want to talk about and share with them. Mars is in your 11th all month, so great time Librans for connecting with like-minded people, for going to groups, for trying out new groups, putting your energy into these groups and just trying different things. So there you have it, a lot of a mixture of things, inner and outer work to be done this month, Librans. I wish you a wonderful month. And for those of you that like a personal reading, you might just have some questions and need a mini reading, a couple of questions, or for something more detailed, please take a look at my website and see if you'd like a more in-depth reading. Thanks for listening and have a great month. Bye for now.